Morning! Yeah, it's another early start, um, but this time the cattle are actually going this morning, so that's uh, one good thing. So Andy's got all the lights on, ready, and I'll jump in the Scania, we'll get going. So I just got started up, we'll just wait for the air to build up in the tanks and then we can go. If uh, if you like these farming videos, remember to press that like button and subscribe if you're not already. And um, yeah, we'll get on with our day. Got them all loaded up, those guys will start feeding round and bedding the cattle down. Now get on my way to take these. We've got the John Deere Black going down the road. So I just thought we'd stop off in the yard. A few tractors about here. Maybe it's that one there with the flat tyre. Maybe. Uh, we're waiting on valeters and just a few um, titivations to this tractor that we're getting. And then um, it'll be with us. But um, I just had a word we want it. Mechanics, he says, we're just making sure it's right. And then making sure everything's perfect on it. So I said, well, take your time and get it sorted and then get it to us. So um, shouldn't be too long now, guys, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So we're back in the yard now. Looks like it's going to be mucking out time today. And milling. And he's got the mill on though. The rough road. Em's just coming down with the nine meter. Did that start all right, Em? Started. Alright. Must have started or Andy would have uh, would have been a bit later with his jobs, I think. So it must be. I don't know, fuel filters might have fixed it. I'm guessing the warmer weather is what's fixed it in reality. But um, we'll just have to see what it's like when it gets cold again. It's coffee time. Mugs are available online. And for long time listeners, which one of those is M's cup? Hey, you know what I've seen this morning? The black edition. What, John Deere? Yeah. On the farm or? Coming down the road. Yeah. Is it coming down the road to here though? <laughs> Could it be him? Um? Let's get people talking. So Ben's just backing the trailer into position now. 130. Now get this filled. So Ben's going to take this down, but we're just going to check the air in this tyre because uh, it's a bit compressed. So we've just got the front weight block on the tractor now, see if that helps. If not, we're just going to pop some air in them back tyres. I hope Andy's not unhappy if we've scratched a bit of paint off his tractor. I think it'll be alright. Right, we're just going to get in here, we're going to get the rest of this mucked out um, and then get them up. So right now I'm just pushing the milled barley right into the back of the shed. So we might as well try and fill it rather than just milling it to the front. We've just been rat catching. You got one, didn't you, Ben? Inside a bucket. I'm not sure if I uh, don't want to disturb anybody. So we've got a full load now, Andy. He's just going to pull that up the yard. Then Ben backing in with the 130. Right, dinner time. So Ben's just filling the trailer at the minute. spill any in the trough. There we go. So I'll put 
time lapse on here when uh, when I take over with the JCB, and we'll uh, see what we can see. stay a bit wetter because it's no like drainage it or whatever but that's better for the environment um so yeah we're just gonna um keep getting these loads out of here then we'll get the spreader bale on or the teagle one of the two I mean, the 130s on the other end of the and we'll get them all bedded, bedded up i think our ben's going for the biggest load he can well he's the one driving it Bit of a bump to get into this pen, that's the only trouble. Just throw stuff about a little bit. First shed we ever put up this. Back in the day, probably around 20 years ago now. We only had enough cattle to fill this this shed here. And then over the years we've just grown and grown and expanded, put more sheds up, we've got more cattle. And um, yeah, long may it continue, because uh, I like having cows, cattle, bullocks mostly, weapons. Very rarely we have any cows. Well, we've got a rainbow. That's nice, huh? Straight over the farm. So we have got here um, a linseed straw. So I'm going to put this in the bottom because it's not very good straw and it'll just give it an extra layer for these cattle, make it a bit softer for them against the concrete. We'll put this in and we'll smash it about a bit with the uh, palatines. So what I do is just, oh, ah, the windows are a bit mucky and this sun today. I wonder if everybody else has experienced the winter sun today, but it's really, really, really bright. Um, yeah, I'm just using the forks just to push it out a bit, and then the cattle will do the rest, really. Um, just if I left it in one big pile, we would just really just end up with one big pile of uh, straw, and the cattle will do a very good job at smashing it about. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to do anyway. So now we're looking out some more pens. Andy is just getting set off with that. Just really pens now. Right over here, it's quite deep mucking here. The reason we've had to go and do these is Em was checking the water troughs earlier and it looks like they've knocked the lid off the one in there and it's just flooded the place. So that's why I'm to muck them out. Um, so we'll get these mucked out, strawed up. Andy's already strawed the path that we were doing earlier, that's all been strawed up with the spreader bale because one third is on the trailer, so we're just in it with a nine meter. Um, but he'll put a straw blower on later, I think, and do these pens behind us. In between Andy and Ben leaving the yard, I'm just trying to get a few jobs done so we can finish on time. So I'm just getting a bit of meal put around, feeding the cows a little bit early. It would have been a nice day to get the drone up, but it isn't a nice day, it's a bit windy, so 
Um, yeah, I don't fancy smashing it up just yet. Although it could be a good, um, good views. Good amount of views from a smashing, uh, smashing drone episode, I think. Not yet though, not yet. A couple of years maybe. Well, it's just getting dark here and we're still feeding out. Um, just got a few bits and bobs to put away. Things to set up for the morning and then um, should be somewhere near done. And it's blowing extra strawing over there. While I'm feeding round and M's doing a mix. Well, it's got, are you off? You off M? Bye. Um, yeah, that's it about it from us. Uh, we got a bit late, really, tonight. It's gone five, innit, Andy? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you've liked today's video, then press the like button, subscribe if you've not already, and, um, yeah, answer as a percent. How are you feeling as a percent today, Andy? Tired. Yeah, I am. I'm, like, <laughs> probably 65, something like that. Yeah. Um, that's how I'm feeling at the minute. But, um, yeah, tomorrow will be a better day. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking, Andy. Yeah? It's just I've been in, I've been at Fortlift all day and it's just like yeah take, took it out of me a little bit today. Right, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.